Do you know the power you have as a commuter to keep our roads safe? Well, the former director, Directorate of Road Traffic Services, Vehicle Inspection Office, explicitly lets us in on what commuters ought to do. Safety is a very big word uh, which require all of us uh, together, including we the imposers, you the uh, media guys, and of course the commuters that are even using the vehicle, the operators and the owners of the vehicle, all of us, even the government, uh, some, because we are part of the government of course, so uh, meaning that all of us put together has a lot to do when it comes to uh, safety matter. And individually and collectively, if we fool our decision together, then surely we will achieve the desired result. Because as you are aware, transportation itself is not tangible. You cannot see movement. You just have to have the result. The result is you, your desire to arrive somewhere to do certain things. So, uh, that is the bottom line between uh, what, what we said about what the uh, operators can do and what we as enforcement agencies can equally do. Uh, you see us and uh, enforcers, what we try to do is to ensure people obey the rules. But our enforcement is limited because within the space of the journey of 100 kilometer for example maybe you see bio maybe another other enforcement agencies in two three or four places but the commuter who is inside the vehicle he is together with the driver to along the journey so if the commuter is sensitized to know his right and exercise them I can assure you that uh, even the rickety vehicles we are seeing, all this obstruction will stop. Because, for example, if the commuter from the garage said, no, I will not enter this vehicle because the vehicle has a worn-out tire, I will not enter this vehicle because it is rickety or because even it is dirty, he will insist and they will bring another vehicle. So if everybody insists on his right, people will do the right thing. If a commuter said, look, you cannot speed with me beyond the speed limit. The driver must calm down. And what can you do if the driver beats traffic? If the driver, for example, beat the traffic light or misbehave in a manner, the commuters are there with him. But unfortunately, uh, somehow, most often than none, you can see that uh, the reverse is the case. If uh, the person is trying to violate, to overspeed, the commuters are there to help him. So that is the change of uh, attitude we are now talking about. That's why I say it's an all-encompassing thing. Indeed, we all have a role to play to keep our roads safe.